Hello everyone, I am Mr. Ray and welcome. We, today we're playing Lab Rat. Lab Rat is, as you can see on the top left of the screen there, created by John Cote, who is someone that I know. And uh, he made this game. He made this game while he was learning to code. He still is learning to code. Um, I think he's still trying to learn Python and he's not happy about it. Um, but that's the day in the life of any coder, as far as I'm aware. And so yes, as you all know, Labrat is available on Steam for $5. Temmy already has to leave. So thank you, Temmy, for the host and for saying hi in the chat. I hope to see you again on stream or just on the Discords that we are connected with. So yeah. Uh, Python has been a bit of abysmal. Yes, definitely. Uh, what else can I say about this? Uh, Labrat. I'm not sure, so like I said, Labrat is available on Steam for $5 US, and just to let you guys know that because I know John Cote, the guy who made the game, that I'm going to have a little bit of a bias because of that. But uh, I still would like to say that if you want to support John, he also makes uh, web comics online, uh, one of them, one of his larger projects being Sierra Bell, and he also streams and makes YouTube videos every so often. So. Definitely, if you want to help out a fellow creator, you got a number of routes there to go with. Links to his stuff will be in the description um, on the YouTube channel. And then, if you're watching this live on my stream at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Rain Gaming, uh, John can post some links in the chat if he wishes. He may get hit by the Nightbot, but as far as I know, that should just be a warning that shouldn't actually kick you for any reason uh but yeah so that's what we have first let's start off with the options i don't ex i already looked at some of them but yeah these are your options full screen delete save or back so we'll go back obviously nothing in the options a very lightweight game should be able to play on pretty much anything um yeah like i said it's just a very simple project and we're going to figure out what we have to do here so let's try you arrive in an abandoned lab to investigate, collect logs, solve puzzles, and this game auto saves after each puzzle is complete. Save space, space bar for the map screen. Okay. Yes, this is my first playthrough. I've never seen this game. I've never even tried to turn on this game until just now. I've been saving it for the live stream. So, yeah, a complete blind playthrough, first time. And so, yeah. Solve puzzles, okay, so collect logs is a box with a circle, got it. And solve puzzles with a timer and a sundial, got it. I have some trouble functioning properly to attend to work. Easy be modest here. Yeah, so like I said, Streamlabs is demoted, so it should not be able to do anything, uh, you know, in that regards. So have fun with that jump coding. Uh, also, we do. I know Ryan is a mind in the chat, so if anything were to go haywire, I can at least rely on them. Worst case, I can take care of it on my own. Alright. Okay. Alright, so forward, left, right, or back. Alright, two locked doors. Alright. Let's see, let's go back. Oh, that just takes me straight back. Okay. Hey, got an achievement. All right, let's go ahead and try to get... All right, is this being captured, by the way? Yes, it is. All right, good. You see that in the preview menu. Oh, hey, there we go. Okay, we have an electronics. Okay. Yep. Do, 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 do. Is there anything else I have to do here? Broke all three knobs apparently. Okay. Let's see. Aha. Oh, hey, a jacket. A key. And a stick figure. Alright. Anything else here? All this artwork, by the way, I believe was also made by John Gooden, so everything you see going on here. The guy's a triple threat. He can develop, he can uh, draw, 
he can act. Two to two. He's stunned voice acting. Very amateur voice acting, but gotta start somewhere. Is there anything to go there? No, maybe. Where must I go? That's true, I have the map though, won't I? Okay. Oh, hey, look, a door opened. Alright. Combination one, combination two. Dave, meet with me later. Hide. Okay. We got a pen. We got a glass. I'm thinking that's like a sand glass timer thing. Got a picture that's facing the wrong way. Right. And here's our puzzle. Mm -hmm. So, what do we do? This, this. Let's see. Okay, apparently that was right. Because I'm no longer able to look at them. So, let's back up. Anything else here? Combination one, combination two. Alright. Let's move back. Let's move back. Move back. Uh, map. What are we looking for here? Do I want to go where the red dot is? Probably. Sandglass timer thingy. Yes. Uh, okay. I don't think I want to be here for that. Uh, do, 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 do. Come on. Come on. Oh. Alright, I don't think that was the smart thing to do. Oh, hey, look. Dr. Tim Hyde, lead scientist in Project Labret. We've been employed to experiment and take on the challenge of creating a life form from chemicals or materials from scratch. Our challenge will begin tomorrow with our first experiments. Soon. Oh, hey, look, I got Dr. Tim Hyde. Lead scientist in Project Labyrinth. We've been conducting experiments for a week now and we are seeing some slow progress, but it's only been a week. These projects tend to take some time, so hopefully more results will come soon. Come on, come on, little green. Green? Why did I say green? That's obviously yellow. Uh, come on, little yellow dot. Come on. All right. Uh huh. Don't think I want to be here for too long. You've been seeing my name way too much. I don't know what you mean. Dr. Tim Hyde, lead scientist in Project Labyrinth. We've been experimenting for a few weeks and we're not seeing any results yet. Or more, we are getting pressure from our head offices. The commissioners must really Wait, want did it go in a circle? to work. No, this is a different class paint. Okay. Oh, I thought I'd loop around. Am I back where I started? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, hey, look, more dials. Uh, okay. I guess I would have to do the same as I did last time. I'm also being a little frantic about this because. Okay, look, everything's cleared. Hey, look, John Cody's hat. Uh, what else? Because I believe I am being, um, what would be the word? Chased? Well, that would be one. Uh, stalked would be another one. So I'm kind of just wanting to not stay around in any room. Hunted is another good one. Yes. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. All right, well, that was a good first run. <laughs> Got three locks so far. Don't know how many. I don't know. I guess I stayed in the hallway for too long. Do I keep my progress? Because I don't remember the store opening the first time around. Okay, I want to stay away from that red dot. Got it. 
Okay, still away from the red dot. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, I want to back up a little bit. Yeah, okay, it saves my progress because that board is gone. It is a visual glyph when your creature gets you when you leave a room at the same time, currently clicking to it. Alright, and we want to back up a little bit again. Okay, nothing here. I was here. I didn't say anything else other than the key, which I still have in my inventory. Uh, yes, this is where I want to be. I'm kind of understanding, like, I want to wait for this little ink blob to figure out where he's going to go next. Okay, I'm going back a room. Okay, I'm going back to another room. <laughs> you know what? Let's slip around. How about that? Instead of waiting for him, we can loop around. Oh, he's over here now! Come on! I was going to outright juke him. Alright, fine. Come on, little blob. There you go. There you go. Alright, is there anything else I have to do here? That's still done. That's still I shouldn't really need to come back here either. Uh so I'm missing a room. I have to look for it. Uh is it this room? No, it's not this room. And I'm dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stores. That's still locked. Did I get something from this room? Did I buy? Did I miss something in this room? Maybe. Oh, I did. Look at that. There's a tree growing out of a plant. Didn't see that the first time. Okay, here we go. Number one mob. Keep going. There's a computer here. I'd like to see something. Okay, I didn't get anything out of this room. So there's gotta be something. Else. I'm not seeing anything to interact with there. Uh, what else can I be looking for? Those doors don't open. This is a scary room. I did that. Poor sound engine, by the way. <laughs> Let that desk have it. Why have at it? Why don't you? Yeah, of course. Uh, what else? Okay, I'm gonna loop around. Actually, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't want it. No, 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 no. Keep me going forward. Thank you. Nothing here, nothing here. Right, anything here? Nope, that was the key that I got earlier. No, wait, wait, go back one room. Which room is this one? Is this the glass room? Yeah, it is, okay. Well, not the glass room, but like, you know what I mean. I know I'm close, I'm just missing that one room. I just put myself in a corner. Okay. Uh, is this way? No, it's this way. No. I am lost! Okay, hold on. What if I go back? That's what I wanted to do. That door's still locked. Okay. Hey, sound effects that we haven't heard yet. Um, I still think there's something here, but there's nothing they can find to interact with. 
<laughs> There's something here for that cheese. Yes, yeah, so if you can give me a tip. Why room am I missing? I'll check this office one more time. I gotta be missing like just one more thing, huh? Uh, John? I'm sure your monster went through a wall there. She's doing it again. Are you clean? Eh. Eh. Let me go back another room. Well, I haven't seen showers. I'm not going to tell you where to go, but if you just because a room was empty one log ago doesn't mean it is still. Oh no. That's a re Oh I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Oh that's the door. That's where the monster was. Okay. Good to know. Um So are you clean? I what the, that does that is that supposed to mean? There's a spider on that board. That door doesn't go anywhere. That door is locked. Why well, not locked? That doesn't go anywhere either. Uh, well, there's hand sanitizer there. What well, looks like a hand sanitizer. Uh, what else? Can I take the hat? That'd be cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? There's this just a switchboard. Oh, hey, look, a log. Dr. Tim Hyde, lead scientist in Project Lamprat. No new developments, and <sighs> head office is getting pretty antsy. We must be getting a lot of pressure from the commissioners. I don't really get why. This is a giant leap in science, so it takes time, but we'll see. Okay, can I talk to anything here now? Maybe? Uh, okay, that's kind of, that kind of caught me off guard. Dots. Where else? That was the clean drain he meant cleaning closet. Yeah. Kinda of put that together now. Uh da 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 It's not there, I cannot interact with. Uh can go this way for now. That door's still locked. Was that room up to the left available before? Don't remember. Hmm. Come on, monster. Okay, this monster's very indecisive. He doesn't know if he wants to be in the small room or the long room. Dude, he's still very indecisive. Doesn't quite know which one to go on. <laughs> oh, hey, he went over here. All right, perfect. Is there anything here now? No? Okay. Anything here? No. Okay. Hey, there's the other log. Dr. Tim Hyde, lead scientist in Project Labrat. Head office has been writing us for over the past two weeks, and it's starting to become a okay. little strange. I feel pretty uneasy about this, but there is little I can do about it. Okay, so it's a lot of backtracking, trying to figure out where the room, the trim has the log. Got it. 
And I want to go up here. Is there another log here? No. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I want to go back one room. One more room. Nothing else is in here. I don't want to die. Let's go this way. Well, this way, this way. That's kind of a weird perspective, but I understand. Like, I'm actively going backwards in regards to that loop. Okay, no audio log on that shelf. The blob is I deem him doesn't listen to locks. He goes where he wants. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, this blob is sitting by the main doors. There he goes. Now I can sneak back. I want to go to this office. I still think there's something here, unless this is like the last room that I have to go into at this rate. Aha! Dr. Tim Hyde. A new scientist has come in and taken over the project, <laughs> Dr. James. I've never heard of him before, and I asked him what his certification was, and he said a PhD. I usually have some pretty good knowledge of most of the scientists within the area, so this is a little odd. It seems though that head office is sucking up to him, so I don't really get a say in this situation. I knew this room was going to be for something. It was just going to take some time. Dr. Tim Hyde, it seems though that Dr. James knows what he is doing and has been working with us quite a bit. Bo's attitude towards every scientist here has been pretty bad. Dr. Tim Hyde, it seems with the help of Dr. James, we have successfully created a cell. We're going to be doing some further testing, but we're going to see how much farther we can go with this project from here on forward. Okay, I think Lab Rat's a little hungry right now. So he's uh, kind of advancing a little faster than before, I think. Haha. -ha. Dr. Tim Hyde, we have some somehow created a creature. It is a large black blob reminiscent of the Umi Bozu, and it's able to respond to sound. It's able to see us and respond to us being in front of it. We are keeping it in a containment just to make sure that it's safe as well as us being safe. However, this whole thing makes me feel uneasy. Dr. James has been acting strange, and the creature almost feels like it has a very murderous intent for everyone here except for maybe James. We'll be doing some more testing tomorrow. Haha! I still you really shouldn't have come here. You have seen too much, heard too much, discovered too much. And this is the end of your little game. So, was it worth it? <sighs> we made it. I know I had to skip some uh, logs there, just cause, uh, yeah, I didn't want to die. Uh, but we did it, I think. We can get confirmation there that I actually won the game. Uh. Yeah, okay. So yes, uh, so you had Hyde and James. And Hyde is working with his project with James. And yeah. Seems like James decided to, what can we say, weaponize this workaround cell that turns into a creature that is now terrorizing the laboratory that they were working in. And now Hyde is dead, and James gets to live on. Well, maybe that's not Hyde, because it would be weird for Hyde to, to recollect his log. So Hyde is probably long dead, and whoever was investigating it, the player, is also dead now. And James gets to live another day, along with this creature. Cool. <laughs> All 10 blocks. Well played. Listen to lock 10. Yeah. Yeah, I think I skipped lock 10. Good point. This is Tim Hyde. If you're listening to this, I'm currently hiding in a stowaway place for now. This place is now cursed. Dr. James let out the creature, and now 
Id and James have been going around and killing most of the scientists, office workers, and everyone here within these laboratories. There's nothing else that we can do. If you're here, it's too late for all of us. If you are here, God help your soul. This place is no longer... <laughs> yep, Hyde's dead. Confirmed. So yeah, that's cool. It's a fun game. Got 30 minutes out of it, more or less. Maybe less than that. So yeah. Entertaining, indeed. And it's a great first project. Uh, what can I say about this game? I like the idea, I like the concept. Having a floor plan, having to go back and forth, fighting these logs, and you know, figuring out what's going on. You're getting hunted, and then you die. <laughs> um, if I mean, I don't know what else to say. The the back hallways there towards like the last end, you know, where the last room is. Those were a little hard to navigate because. They were kind of meant for you to go from left to right and not so much from right to left. So it was kind of weird going through a doorway thinking you're going forward when it ends up throwing you backwards because you entered the room in the opposite direction. Uh, but that's a, But like once you figure out, okay, it's just, you know, you're always going to be looking at the hallway the same direction. So once you figure that out, it's kind of, you know, it's just a minor nitpick. Swap in. Oh, definitely. Uh, I can drop on your server. Let me go ahead and do that. Once I find... There we are. Get back to the oh, what? How do I have access? Uh, job. Oh, sorry. How do you have access to this channel? I don't know. I'm a magician. <laughs> I don't okay, even know I, what roles I have here. on this channel. Yeah, apparently you have a role that I didn't know about. Anyway, um, so you definitely took the shortest amount of time out of anyone who has played this so far. Okay. You finished it in 30 minutes. Amazing Mark Z finished it in about an hour. Hmm. So, so far, you've got the shortest time out of everyone, including some of the, uh, some of the beta testers. However, you did have a couple different um, advantages because you were using 1.4. They were playing 1.2. 1.4 right. has a few different changes uh, with a few things that are better explained as well as um, some difficulty that is lowered for the, for the creature. Or I guess as Orion called him, the blob. Um, so yeah, um, but as far as anything else significant that I would like to say, I don't really think there is. I think I've, for the most part, mm -hmm. um, a part of the, the one stream that I did, which I'm going to be posting on my channel, talking a lot more about the development of Lab Rat. Um, okay. that video is fixed and it'll probably be posted on YouTube. I just need to get around to uploading it. And then the only other thing I will say, however, is I'm going to put in these links on here real quick. I'm putting these here for a reason. Yep. There's a bit of a much more correlation with a few other different things that I've done and the story of this game. Okay. I didn't know that. So there's, it's not quite obvious, especially in one of them, but there are actually two things that this game has a pretty big correlation with. One of them, you, uh, can probably be figured out right now. But the other one hasn't quite been revealed yet. But the other one will be a lot more blunt. <laughs> okay. The other one will definitely be more blunt <laughs> if people who follow a lot of the stuff that I... They will probably figure it out a lot quicker on that one and then maybe make the connection with the other one. So, but... um, But, yeah. So, th this game has... You know, as a first project, it, it is kind of a small project, but it does have a little bit more significance in terms of a few other things overall. So, All right. No, it was fun. Yeah. I, so. I, I enjoyed it. Like, um, I've played similar games like this 
you know, like way back in the old new grounds type day. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. feel like it was inspired by that. If I, it was that. kind of a little bit inspired by that. It was like, some types of stuff like kind of like the henry stickman type of stuff was kind of like as just like just go out and just like draw everything mm -hmm. instead but a little bit more of the horror aspect was mainly just kind of like it was just like the mental inspiration of just like some of the five nights of freddy's games and i think there was actually a different game besides that that kind of pushed me to do it but i don't remember what it was so yeah no, it, it makes but, sense it it's i like it. it it's the you know you gotta go around this maze and not get caught type of deal. Yeah, it, it's so. it's cool. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, like, I like to get feedback and whatever, whatever I can, cr cr critiques, whatever. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm totally fine with that. And I've gotten quite a bit. I'm just gonna be making little improvements on this, but essentially, I'm taking a full 180 on the next project. I've right. already essentially just like gave a lot of information on the next project, anyways. So. Yeah, and all you you are working oh, yeah. on the next mm -hmm. one, and I look forward to seeing that get developed as well so if people are curious because some people are uh this was made in game maker studio 2 um and a couple other different things but yeah all of it was <laughs> uh all the different elements were hand drawn mm -hmm. and all of the sound effects and all of the stuff was made by essentially everything in this game was made by me except for the end um lines which you picked up on, on up on it very quickly was dr james mm -hmm. um dr james's voice was done by spirit chunker who gave me a freaking phenomenal like vo like yeah. like i i wasn't <laughs> entirely for sure 100 percent on what the voice lines or what type of voice i wanted until he gave me those like i kind of gave him a general idea of what the character was and then he gave me those lines and i was like this is great <laughs> <laughs> so yeah yeah, it was a good but yeah, job, we man. will definitely we will definitely be seeing uh, Dub Lob and uh, Spirit Chunker a lot more in the future, so which will be pretty great. I'm looking again, I'm looking forward to that. So, like, it, it's fun seeing this kind of stuff, and you know, being yeah, on the so, ground floor of it, essentially. Yeah. I love that I made this game with a uh, Game Maker Studio too, and then immediately dropped it, and now using Unity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 like, it, is it so this game almost was made with unity at one point i did consider making it in unity mm -hmm. so it was at one point it would have been in unity and at another point it would have been in unity and 3d with a uh, being first person but then i was just like okay but then it was just kind of like, well i didn't like the gameplay aspect of just a first person game i feel like that was overdone i felt like doing a mm -hmm. point and click might have been a little bit more interesting and then i could keep with the hand drawn aspect of just like doing the drawn right. stuff Mainly right. because it also needed to kind of stay a little bit within a certain type of style. But mm -hmm. I'm not going to get too into that because that's revealing the thing that I've been teasing earlier. <laughs> so, no, it, it's cool. Uh, like I said, it does remind me a lot of Newground stuff. Uh, one of the yeah. darker, gritty, it's, yeah, it's not really a horror game, but like one of the darker Newground games that's out there is like Alice is Missing, which is a twisted version of the Alice in Wonderland series. Oh yeah, I don't. I don't think I've heard of that before. It's pretty cool. That that's actually still worth playing through, because um, like you don't, oh, you never play as Alice. You're playing as one of the other characters. You don't know which one, and so like the first one is more like is about figuring out which one, like figuring out who you are, and then it just yeah. dives down into madness. In the I think they made two games out of that, two or three, but they had a great. Uh, visual style it was a point and click just like this one where you had to go back and forth between rooms uh that one is more relaxed because that was just like an adventure where you're just trying to figure out what's going on this one is more of like you're trying to figure out what's going on but at the same time you got a monster chasing you through the halls yeah so i mean it it's i don't know i don't want to say nostalgic because it's kind of weird to say that uh <laughs> kind of game is nostalgic doesn't feel right yet to say that quite yet. <laughs> but it's a it's a nice take on you know going back to that type of, of stuff yeah and having simplified art style just having a, a cool little game yeah. to come out of it yeah just kind of something to kind of hit the ground a little bit more running this was kind of like just like a way to like kind of get my foot in the door for some game design stuff 
And then also as a side, like middle finger to the callers that I'm currently going to, because God dang, it's a, <laughs> I'm so glad it's over this week. I'm so freaking glad it's over this week. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, it, it, it kind of became a little bit of that, but like, I like, this was a pretty fun little thing to work on and it like, it's very neat and it's very cool. So, but I'm, I'm really ready for the next project because it's, I, I've been describing it as like, the, the the game development stuff is just like being like drugs and it's like this is just like very basic alcohol and i'm going from this to cocaine <laughs> <laughs> yeah like it game yeah. development I'm taking, songs but, very interesting to me go yeah, ahead, John, but, but this, i'm taking cough medicine and now i'm just going to snorting all day like here we go let's <laughs> roll yeah and like with, when it comes to game like it, i always been interested in it and like the whole development process you know yeah but the thing is, I don't have patience for it, and <laughs> that's one. And secondly, I don't like to learn things linear. I, well, I like to learn things linearly, but I like to learn things yeah. in a way where I'm using it right here, right now. So yeah. it's like, you know, if I have to build something, it's okay. I got a hammer, I got the screw, I got whatever, the nail. Yeah. I got the wood. All right, perfect. Kind. Right, let's go. You know, I don't. I don't like to say, okay, you got to learn all of these definitions, all 20 of these definitions. Yeah. You got to learn all these different functions, which ones, like, I don't need to know all these functions if I'm not going to use half of them. Just tell me, okay, we're going to make this, and these are the functions you're going to need. These are what the functions are going to do, and I'll take it from there. But it's it's a process, and it's not one <laughs> that I have a whole lot of patience for, unfortunately. But yeah, so, in, yeah, in terms of learning, I feel like I'm a little bit more sporadic. Like I learn things in more like sporadic bursts, but yeah. that's kind of me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm yeah. definitely looking forward yeah. to the new project and. Uh... Yeah, the next project. So, and of course, I'm going to be extending a bit of a thing. If you're interested in maybe taking part in the new project, whoever's watching this, uh, check out the Discord because that has definitely kind of a, been a little bit of a hub for me to kind of get a few people recruited of course mm -hmm. a lot of the major recruiting stuff is not going to take place until quite a bit of time later but um that will potentially happen because it like i said it is going to be a pretty big project so i definitely would be needing a lot of help with it yeah definitely if there's uh, anything that i can do uh, with you about that uh, let me know as well yeah That'd be cool well, be part of it. yeah once i kind of figure out a lot more different things with it then then a lot more will kind of start uh, coming from that, but at the moment, it's mostly just getting a lot of the basic stuff going, getting a lot of the gears turning right now. Yeah, definitely. But it's it's one of those going back to game development. It's, it's like one of those things where either it depends on the project, obviously. But yeah, uh, there's definitely a difference in regards to like the mentality of a developer and, or different development teams, because you can look. Just looking at different games at different scales, like one game will have, I don't know, three updates within six months, and then another game will have two updates in a year. And <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's definitely cool to be able to make a small game like this. And I feel like partially I'm being called out because this game, this game within a month had about three or four updates. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue. I was, I was it, yeah, it was... to the development of, of this game just uh, for clarity. Oh, uh, 1. 1. 1.0, I think, was the release, but then it got like four different updates because I think there was something that I did different in 1.1. 1. 1.2, 1. Mm -hmm. and then 1.2. I can't remember exactly what the release was, as if it was 1.0 or 1.1. 1. 1. But then it went to 1.2 to fix a few things. What was it, actually? I... Made those announcements. Come on. Why am I not using the thing that I did on Steam? <laughs> why am I looking at my <laughs> why am I looking at my patch yeah, notes? I, why why am I not looking at my own patch notes? Oh I didn't even make any patch notes one point two. What the mess? Uh, <laughs> I made them for one point three, but not one point two. It was a sneaky update, yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, and then one point three fixed a few things. Or one point three was probably like the biggest one because it changed like a lot more information to help players to added the if you notice there were arrows in there to kind of help with the perspective of where you were yes that, that um, on the that. map uh decrease the difficulty and the decrease the chance of uh the creature because there's points where it's like the creature can teleport to like a random freaking place 
Yeah, but it does that stuff, and it just doesn't get stuck in a place. Right. So initially, some people are just like, "Is that a bug?" And it's like, "No, that's done intentionally." So it's intentional. Uh, if I were to say also... to add something to that, um, developer note, if you want to call it that, little critique. If there's going to be a teleport thing like that, I would say to have a, an audio cue for it. Like, yeah, that was kind of something that I started thinking about whenever, like, I think you know, so I was just like, maybe there might need to be an audio cue for that. So <laughs> that that might come in 1.5. So, but quite a few other things will probably be updated at the same time with that. Right. In 1.5, but I just need to get around, get around to it. So. Oh, definitely. Because but... me and Orion also noticed something else that mm -hmm. I've already been aware of that I just need to go in and fix as well, so. It was cool seeing the uh, little Easter eggs as well throughout the entire... Uh, oh yeah, there's quite a few yeah. Easter eggs. One of them that I don't think a lot of people know is in the in the one room is uh, it showed FEVR, that stands for Fever. Uh, that is a VR group that or VR live stream and like group that do that is trying to like push the boundaries of virtual reality quite a bit okay. and i've been kind of pretty active with a lot of their community so i definitely wanted to kind of reference them a little bit hmm. i also saw a drawing of uh what looked like a three-eyed person with green hair i think wait what like a i don't i don't know it was, it was on the note it was a fig uh image of a person with a word soon under it oh yeah that's a reference <laughs> that's a reference to the next project <laughs> uh -huh. so yeah i mean i don't i don't, I don't know what else to say it's a cool yeah, it's definitely a cool game i got, got glad i got to play it and uh learn more about it so uh, yeah so i'm really looking forward to the new project seeing how that's going to go i know you're you know, it's early on. Yeah, I've been so. very excited. The the code that I posted on Facebook is actually uh some of the code for that project. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> yeah, it's it's definitely not from this because Game Maker Studio Two does definitely does not use Vector Two. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was uh it's the uh it's actually the attacking script or part part of the attacking script for the next project. And Chroma Nine actually yeah. um picked up on it. He picked up on it on Twitter. And so, which was absolutely hilarious. I saw that and I was just like, that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> is that, yeah, I know, I know you, you posted it and then, I don't know, sometime later, Chroma saw it. It's like, oh, well, actually, that script is for blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like, I mean, like, oh, okay. except, for the, except for like just one little bit, like he was spot on. Like he was basically just spot on. Hmm. So, and he picked that up from my phone quality camera looking at a facebook post on my computer <laughs> yeah <laughs> so That's but cool. I've, I've mostly kind of gotten to the point where it's like i'm just gonna be trolling my facebook <laughs> like i'm just trolling my facebook at this point yeah may as well right uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> as animaniacs put it it is a toxic waste dump <laughs> yeah but yeah but anyway right. i'm gonna leave you to it uh to whatever else that you're potentially gonna stream tonight so have a good night have a good night uh, too, thank man. you for playing. And everyone who is watching, thank you very much for watching. And yeah. So I will talk to you later, Ryan. All right. Talk to you later, John. Okay. So that will be it for the lab rat. I was, I, I, I keep, we keep saying, we keep repeating things. But yeah, it's a nice small game. Uh, it was cool. It's cool playing through it. Once I figured out, the, the hardest part was the logs. I, for some other, for whatever reason, I kind of blanked out. I kind of forgot that the logs existed, which is when um, I was just going room to room, like trying to figure out what to do. And then the next clue was in the janitor's closet. So, uh, yeah, once I got that clue, I was like, oh, okay, now I know what I'm doing. I'm just going back and forth until I find all the logs. And then that was it. Uh, I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a fun game. Definitely worth checking out if you wish for $5 on Steam. And that's all I'm going to say. 